Hi, thanks for watching. This is the first video in a series on chess puzzles made by Leszek Wapinski. In this video we see a position with only four pieces. It's a very famous study by Richard Reddy. Why to move and draw? If you want to try and solve the puzzle, then pause the video and afterwards you can check with the solution. Okay, so before looking at the solution, let's look at some of the key issues involved. First of all, it's apparent that white has some problems in this position, because the white pawn can't advance without being captured, because the black king is inside the square of the c pawn, and at the same time the white king is outside the square of the black h pawn, and so because his own pawn can't advance without being captured, and his own king can't reach the black h pawn, he's apparently lost. But it's not as simple as that, because white can combine the threats of helping his own pawn with his king, and at the same time approach the black h pawn. So he is able to draw. In order to reach the square of the black h pawn, he has to play either king g7 or king h7 in the first move. And his other option is to reach the squares e5, e6, e7 and e8. If the white king advances to these squares, he can forcibly promote his own pawn. In order to reach these squares, he has to play either king g7 or king g8 in the first move. Then he can reach the squares in free tempi. And so white's target squares are all the colored squares here. The yellow squares in order to capture the black h pawn and the red squares in order to promote his own pawn. The green square is both a red square and a yellow square. So based upon all this, white's two first moves are clear. He has to play king g7 and king f6 regardless of what black plays. Okay, So he plays king g7. And now we look at black's ideas. Black has two major ideas here. He can either capture the white c-pawn or he can advance his own h-pawn and queen it. We'll look at three options for black. He can either capture the c-pawn and focus squarely on that idea or he can focus on promoting the h-pawn and focus only on that idea or he can combine the ideas. So first we look at king b6 with the idea of capturing the white c-pawn. White still plays king f6 and now we look only at king takes c6. And now it's obvious that the white king can enter the square of the black h-pawn so after king g5 and for example king d5, king takes h5 as a draw. So in this position it's obvious that black's idea of capturing the c-pawn and only that idea fails due to the fact that the white king can capture the black h-pawn. So let's look at the other idea, h4. If this is played White again plays king f6. And now, if black continues with h3, it's clear that the black pawn is going to promote, but it's also clear that the white king can reach the pawn promotion squares, e6 and e7. And so after king e7, h2, c7, h1 queen, c8 queen, we have a draw, because neither side can win this queen ending. Okay, so let's look at the last option for black. He can combine the ideas of promote, promoting his pawn and capturing the white c-pawn. If he plays h4 first, then white again continues with king f6. And now, instead of continue, continuing with, with uh, h3, he can try to play king b6. And now, white's idea is to either enter the square of the black h-pawn or reach the pawn promotion squares d6 or d7 in order to help his own pawn. 
He has to play obviously king e5 because then he threatens both to capture the black h pawn but also to promote his own pawn by advancing to d6 afterwards. So he plays king e5 and now we look at both ideas. First of all black can capture uh, the pawn but then the white king enters the square of the black h pawn and after king f4 for example h3 king g3 h2 king takes h2 we have a draw going back to the position after king e5 we can also see that if black chooses to continue with uh, the h pawn's advance h3 then white can reach d6 and after h2 c7 h1 queen c8 queen we again have a draw no one can win this queen ending going back to the original position we can see that white was able to draw because he was able to combine the threats of promoting his own c-pawn with the idea of capturing the black h-pawn and so he won time by threatening two things at once okay i hope you enjoyed this first puzzle this series will continue with the second puzzle which is named the study of the millennium bye for now